This review will take a quick look at the 1983 out between then WBA junior middleweight champion Davey Moore and challenger Roberto Duran. Duran was still reeling from his famous no, ma no mas uh, loss when which he quit against Sugar Ray Leonard and Davey Moore had uh, captured the WBA title a short while uh, before and was uh, starting to emerge as a, um, a good champion. And let me get this bout on the screen here. Uh, one moment, please. Madison Square Garden is electrified as they get ready for Davey Moore. You see the numbers on him against Roberto Duran. Moore with a slight reach advantage. The poundage exactly the same at 152 and a half. Good look at the man it's trying to win. The junior middleweight championship away from Davey Moore. That, of course, would be Roberto Duran. And there's a great look at the Bronx Bomber, if you will. That, of course, would be Davey Moore. If you look around Madison Square Garden, People outside trying to get into this arena couldn't do it, and uh, this is the hottest ticket in town, that's for sure. After a great finish by Duran over Clavis, as you take a look at Duran, who won that fight in the fourth round knockout, do you anticipate that Duran will try to come in smoking here early on Davey Moore? Can he afford to, Albert? Well, Davey Moore has good power. He is really a powerful puncher. Uh, the criticism of Moore has been that he maybe takes a few too many punches, but I don't know that Duran can afford to just wave right in. Madison Square Garden, where they have more people standing in the aisles and sitting down here tonight, trying to get everybody to their seats as Davey Moore battles Roberto Duran. Moore has a good jab, an excellent straight right hand. He used that against such people as Ayu Kalule in one of his title defenses and Gary Guyton. And so he's got excellent power, but can he hit Durant? Durant's such a fine defensive fighter. It will be interesting in the fact that when both these fighters came into the ring, certainly Davey Moore from the Bronx getting his share of opponents, but Roberto Durant, a big favorite here in Madison Square Garden. Well, you wonder what that does psychologically. Davey Moore grew up in the Bronx. This is his hometown, and yet Roberto Durant comes in, and he is certainly the crowd favorite. Pretty much a slow first round as might have been expected here with both fighters respecting the other. Both fighters, as you see, somewhat similar in their styles. Even though Moore may hold his hands just a bit higher, right up under the chin where Duran is about chest high. Good left hand at time that Duran slipped in on Moore. The champion retaliates with a left right, comes back with another left right to Duran. And there's the right of Davey Moore. That's the punch he wants to get home. He feels he can hurt Duran with that right hand. Slight reach advantage, Al Bernstein. And let me speed things up a bit. This is a... Uh... Duran trying to load up for the right hand. Moore slipped the right as Duran pulled the string on it. Duran trying to use his experience over 70 pro fights. Davey Moore, though, a champion. Less than 15 pro fights. And you can see that... Um, he is in there against the man in Roberto Duran who knows all the tricks. Good right Good by right by both. Duran sends Moore back to the ropes, tries to go after him. Now he does as he forces him against the ropes once again. He's ripping body shots to the side of Davey Moore, much to the delight of this crowd. Round two, punching back at for Davey Moore, the champion. Roberto Duran waiting in. Both the left and the right, it's scored here in round two. There you see the left. Good Moore left. fighting back with a good left right of his own. Excellent. This is the kind of wars Moore has been in in his championship matches, but he is really taking shots from Duran. That inexperience starting to show as Duran spun him into the ropes and went after him quickly. A lot of low blows from Roberto Duran. Not a warning yet from the referee on that. There you see that body punchy coming upstairs to the right by Duran. You can hear this crowd. It's very much pro Duran here in second round. Davey Moore, the junior middleweight champion, undefeated, but he's in. And let me advance this a bit. Indeed, is starting to believe they'll have to work that out on the corner at the end of round three. Well, they have worked on 
and Davey Moore in his quarter. That does not look to me that severe as he comes out to answer the bell in round four and is met at center ring by Roberto Duran. Davey Moore, the junior middleweight champion, but he's in a fight with Roberto Duran who wants very badly that title here tonight at Madison Square Garden. What a great deal of momentum Duran apparently has picked up since the Cuevas fight back in January, a four-round TKO there. And now in with another toughie here from the Bronx, Davey Moore. And Roberto Duran, Al Bernstein, looks like a very confident fighter. Well, he is using his jab well, straight right hand, and what's more impressive is the body work he's done against Davey Moore. He has just been ripping the body. It's not that Moore is fighting that bad a fight. Davey Moore has landed the same kind of shots that he's used to hurt other fighters, but uh, Duran is responding. And I think the swelling around that right eye of Moore is really bothering him. And left eye giving him problems as well. Absolutely. Moore with a sharp right off of that left eye again off of Moore. There's another right hand by Durant. What a clinic Duran puts on. The minute Moore tries to cover high, Duran goes to that body shot. Moore drops to the fence, and here comes Duran upstairs. Not to take that much away from Davy Moore, as Al, you pointed out. Moore has thrown some good shots of his own. Oh, well, he has, but then that left hook to the body is indicative of the work that Duran has done, and it's taken a lot out of Moore. Should Davy Moore thought going into this fight that he would be able to hurt Duran with his right hand. He's thrown some rights and landed him, but they have not done as much damage as he anticipated. Straight left hand by Duran, got in on Moore's temple again. Moore oh, appears to be extreme. Corner, as Roberto Duran just keeps coming on here in the sixth. And all those problems for Davey Moore, the cut and the closed eye and all the rest of it, a big problem, and an even bigger problem, I think, is the body work that, that Duran has done, which has slowed him down so much. And then you add to that the fact that Duran is doing a fairly good defensive job, and even when Moore thinks he's hitting him flush with those right hands, he's really not, because Duran is turning away to take away some of the impact. You saw a graphic example of that in the fifth round. He took almost two in a row, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Moore in the center of the ring. Magano, the referee, trying to keep him apart here in the sixth round. Straight right hand over the top there by Duran. Yeah, there's one thing out there. World Junior Middleweight Championship. Al Bernstein, Davey Moore has been beaten in batter, but gamely comes on here in the seventh. And Duran continues to use the jab well, and uh, he has just battered the body of Davey Moore, not to mention his face, as evidenced by the cut and the swollen eye and the bloody lip. A warning from the referee to Davey Moore for holding. Other than the first minute and a half of this fight, we have seen non-stop action by these two junior middleweights. With quite obviously from the looks of that. Roberto Duran, I guess, forgot where he was supposed to go, but he didn't forget anything in the ring. <laughs> Just ripping Davey Moore to the delight of this packed house at Madison Square Garden. The road map, not in Panamanium here. The crowd in Panamanium, maybe, here at Madison Square, as you see Davey Moore really being worked on. Now we will see in the last round the knockout, the overhand right by Roberto Duran. He's done much to set this up, and uh, you are looking at a, really a beaten Davey Moore. And there, Leon Washington in the corner was working with Moore, trying to see what he can do, and you have to wonder if uh, Moore will come out. You see some various angles of that powerful right hand and the challenge of Roberto Duran as Davey Moore takes an unceremonial seat on the end of his pants. And now the bell to answer round eight. And Roberto Duran may be smelling blood here for the eighth round. 
Paul have beaten and battered man at this moment. Most of Madison Square Garden on their feet. The crowd of Panama will break over land. The man from the block, Davy Moore, battle in the eighth round, but it's been Duran's fight. Davy Moore trying to fight back, but Duran has, has it all left. This one could be over shortly as Moore continues to reel around the ring with that big right hand of Duran, the biggest weapon of the night. And the body work continues from Duran, accentuating what he's done to the head of Davy Moore. Moore just looks beat. You have to wonder if Madonna might not step in and stop this. He thing. looked into his eyes there on that last flinch and break. They're satisfied with all. Now Moore is turned into a punching bag, and this one is almost over in the eighth of the pair. We have to wonder why the referee isn't stopping it right now. Moore in all kinds of trouble, and Durant just ripping shots. Roberto Durant has beaten Davey Moore to a pulp here for eight rounds. Davey Moore giving credit as Gamely trying to hang on. But that may be the illustration of how the fight has gone. Hanging on by Davey Moore. Moore is just so fatigued, so hurt. He has virtually nothing left. Just sheer courage keeping him in there at this point. He just staggers into the land. Ernesto Magana, the referee, looking at Moore. Oh, oh look at the right hand. Not stop it. Moore is out on his feet. Moore is literally out on his feet. Duran keeps pounding away. Moore just hangs on, trying to keep on his feet. And Mr. Magana finally steps in, and this fight has now been stopped. With no protest from Davey Moore, finally, Ernesto Magana kind of lackadaisically stepped in between the two fighters. And the Madison Square Garden crowd simply erupts. Roberto Duran back all the way in what was what is a shocking win over Davey Moore. And uh, that victory allowed Roberto Duran to uh, erase the famous no moss when he quit against Sugar Ray Leonard. And Davey Moore, uh, career-wise, really never recovered, and he tragically died in 1988. Want to help you remember this bout from back then? Hopefully this is a good flashback. Uh, if not, hearing about it for the first time, hopefully I was able to get everything in here for a quick review. And let me get a final screen on here. Thank <laughs> you.